This building is a hundred years older than the country it's in. So do be careful. We're sitting in chairs. Yes. Very good. You can go now. Darkness is the absence of light. And stupidity in that instance is the absence of me. Catherine, I have students in my office now. Students. Undergrads. I don't know, but by the looks of it, they want to sell me a Brooks Brothers franchise. Good morning, sir. My name is Cameron Michael Foss, and this is my brother, Tyler. And you're here because... Either of you can answer. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were reading the letter. I've read the letter. Well, we came up with an idea for a website called Harvard Connection. We since changed the name to Connect You, and Mark Zuckerberg stole that idea, and... I understand. And I'm asking what you want me to do about it. Well, sir, in the Harvard Student Handbook, which is distributed to each freshman under the heading Standards of Conduct in the Harvard Community, it says the college expects that all students will be honest and forthcoming in their dealings with members of this community. Students are required to respect public and private. And Yes, sir. Punch me in the face. Go ahead. Or unauthorized use will result in disciplinary action. And you memorized that instead of doing what? Well, when my brother and I came here today to ask of you, respectfully of course, Sir, it's against university rules to steal from another student, plain and simple. You've spoken to your housemaster? Yes, sir, and housemaster made a recommendation to the ad board, but the ad board won't hear us. Mr. Zuckerberg hasn't responded to any of our emails or phone calls for the last two weeks. He doesn't answer when we knock on his door at Kirkland, and the closest we came to talking face to face is when I saw him on the quad and chasing through Harvard Square. You chased him? I, I, I saw him, and I know he saw me, and I went after him and he disappeared. I don't see this as a university issue. Of course it's a university issue. There's a code of ethics and an you, honor code. You enter into a code of ethics with the university, not with each other. I'm sorry, President Summers, but what you just said to me makes no sense at all. I'm devastated by that. What my brother means is, if Mark Zuckerberg went into our dorm and stole our computer, that would be a university issue. I really don't know. This office doesn't handle petty larceny. This isn't petty larceny. This idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. You might just be letting your imaginations run away with you. Sir, I honestly don't think you're in any position to make that call. I was the U.S. Treasury Secretary. I'm in some position to make that call. Letting our imaginations run away with us is what you said to do in your freshman address. Well, then I would suggest that you let your imaginations run away with you on a new project. You would. Everyone at Harvard is inventing something. So I would suggest again that the two of you come up with a new, new project. I'm sorry, sir, but that's not the point. Please, arrive at the point. You don't have to be an intellectual property expert to understand the difference between right and wrong. And you're saying that I don't. Of course I'm not saying that, sir. I'm saying that. And how did they get this appointment? Colleagues of their father. Let me tell you something, Mr. Winklevoss, Mr. Winklevoss. You don't get special treatment. We never asked okay, for Okay, okay. Just start another project, like if we're making you, a diorama for the science fair? If you have a problem with that, Mr. Winklevoss. We never asked for special treatment. The courts are always at your disposal. Now, is there anything else I could do for you? Whoops, broke a 335-year-old doorknob.